Why does this keep happening to me? I swear it's like a fucking bad movie. It's like, LOL, it's time for that part in the broadcast chat where we tell each other's time zones. You don't want to know what time it is where I live? It's blah 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 o'clock. How about you, good sir? What time is it where you live? Oh, it's blah 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 o'clock. OMG, it's that time? So my god, even though it doesn't pertain to me at all, LOLs. <sighs> I suppose I should tell everyone in the chat that I've actually started broadcasting now. Probably be a good idea. <laughs> nah, I started early. Fuck it, they'll figure it out. Someone will tell everyone else, like, Oh hey, you should refresh or pause or unpause the broadcast. This is always one of the most entertaining times for me in life. Dude. Besides, I'm really digging this music here. I really like this. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Did I properly update shit? I think I did. Hi. Hello. Zoma gods. People who are already seeing this, I guess you can act as my pages and servants and tell everyone to refresh or pause and pause so they'll actually see that I'm broadcasting right now. It's a little early. Hello. Hello, Gavakius. Zusio, Furion333, Dumgold, Windows. I gotta follow Lethal's fix sometime. He told me how to fix that. Sasquatch, Captain Walmart, Nalsed, Legato, Shank Alton, Red World, Mr. Wuzz's, Goes Well with Cheese, Mega Flame 999. Good job. If you actually came just in time, you actually came early, since I was... I did save somewhere around 4 a.m. EDT, and it's currently 3.40-ish. Yeah, I think that today we're going to be playing, or at least I'm going to be trying to play the Spirit Engine 2. I downloaded this about, like, three weeks ago, and I've never played it. Like, I just installed it as part of my broadcast preparation. I was like, what the hell? This is like an RPG-looking thing. There's, like, some tactical shit involved, I think. I'll go ahead and give this a whirl. I have no idea how good it's going to be. Uh, and considering how limited the 25 frames per second on the broadcast, uh, who knows? Maybe it'll all be complete and total shit. <laughs> Music volume coming in from the game, okay? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 All right. Yes, hello. Hi. Maybe, maybe Twitch won't fuck me over today, guys. Last time I broadcasted, Twitch was like, LOL, you're trying to, re to, to interact with your viewers and, you know, have revocane tits and everything. Can I kill you because Kerbal Space Program says I didn't buy the game? No. Also, to answer a question, I have no interest in Kerbal Space Program. I've certainly, I certainly know of the game and I've seen it played before, but I, I have no interest in it. Maybe if I was younger, back whenever I was in my more uh, like building shit stage, but I've kind of moved on from that. I mean, back whenever I was a baby, I used to fight. Well, not like a baby, baby, but back whenever I was a kid, I used to like, I used to like pretend I was playing SimCity by drawing cities on construction paper at school. <laughs> I know, Maligon. Good morning. Welcome to die. <laughs> do, 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 do. Music could maybe be slightly louder. It probably could be a little louder, but I, I, I have, like, things uh, wrong with me where people usually complain about how I always turn down my music volume so low. Because music volume fucks with my head, it like distracts me whenever I'm trying to actually converse with someone. Anyway, I uh... Yeah, what the fuck. Also, uh... I played the early old Legend of Zelda games, and I thought they were cool. Just to answer a question there. Alright, let's go ahead and start game. Playing version 1.06, the Spirit Engine 2 is a freeware game. It used to be sold, I think. I don't know. I don't know the fucking lore of the goddamn thing. I just fucking found it three weeks ago, and this is my first time running it. 
and you can download it and pally it off thespiritengine.com. You can fucking Google it your own goddamn selves. Alright, go ahead and click start. Before starting a new game, you'll need to choose the characters whose journey you'll follow. There are three character slots, each with three candidates. Each candidate can fulfill one of three basic roles in combat. Knight, Musketeer, or Priest. It is advisable to have one of each type in your group so that you are prepared for all eventualities. Click on a portrait to select a character. If you can't decide who you'd like to take, just stick with the three initially selected. Uh, I guess I'll do that then. What the hell? Party name, my party. Oh my god. Sounds like too much fucking work for me. <laughs> is this going to be interactive? Probably not. I'm completely fucking blind. This is more along the lines of me playing what I wanted to play for the morning, and I'm deciding to share it with people. So, our lead character for this... Uh... Well, actually, no. I get it. Oh, right. I'm assembling a party. Character 1, character 2. Char I thought that said chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, for whatever reason. No, you can't choose. I give you all fucking enough votes the way it is. Choose the third knight because he looks cool. Let me see here. We have ourselves a knight, Kauto Stern. Falling into the underworld of organized crime at a young age, only collusion, corruption, and undeserved good fortune have kept Kaltos for a significant period behind bars. Now he has turned his back on the life that cost him his marriage. It is trying to make ends meet as a sword for hire. An increasingly difficult prospect in a world reigned by gunpowder. In a world of darkness and gunpowder, one man stood strong and proud in his quest to become... <laughs> Legato, I don't regret it. I mean, like, I pretty much just allowed folks who want to be interactive to, like, channel their interactive efforts into certain games. By and large, on my channel, I don't allow people to suggest what they want to do because I want to do things. This isn't let's play, this is let's get on with it, goddammit. See, then we have Ione, who was the recommended character one. Ione appears to be a loner by choice, traveling the quiet back roads, blah blah blah. She is... Arrogant, selfish, neurotic, and oddly unfamiliar. Her tattered cloak hides a pair of forlorn, molting brown wings from... I don't know about having a woman with, uh... With, with wings and a tattered cloak. Makes me think of the goddamn Kylords. I don't think we're gonna have to pass on you. In... <laughs> well, look at you, Captain fucking Badass! Hello, I am an asshole. How do you do today? <laughs> I am ready to be an asshole to all the people on the internet. I approve. Come <laughs> yes, I don't know why you can't see the... the broadcast. Twitch must hate you today. Everyone else is able to see it and shit, as far as I can tell. So, I think he's actually going to be character one. I think I like him. Although, Kaltos, he's pretty epic, too. Sounding. I think we're going to just look through the others, though. Fairwin, oh my god damn it, what the fuck Christ checks. Fairwin Drake Talbot III. You. You are a douchebag. I don't even need to read your bio, you're a douchebag. Everyone knows you're a douchebag, and I'm judging you. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we got here? Charlotte K. You look like the douchebag sister, I'm not gonna lie. Brash and sunny disposition hides a deep longing for an entirely different life, one of certainty and commitment that she seems unable to find. Alright. And you're a priest, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we'll have that. Well, I think we'll have Charlotte as character two here. And who do we got here? Deneva Halterbrook. An elder... Oh, oh, no, old people. Oh, no, old people. I don't know, man. I, I think we might have to take him along with us. We'll see. 
Grace Winters. Oh god damn it, she's old too. Fuck. <laughs> old people run. <laughs> In sh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? In Shadow the Priest. What are you? Amiable, educated, intelligent, and well trained as a priest, In Shadow nevertheless makes for unsettling company. He sometimes appears nervous and conflicted and refuses to remove his blank mask or bandages. Whatever is troubling him, he remains an indispensable companion. All right, I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to go with the uh, the old man here. So, Mauritius, Charlotte, and Denever, 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 Halterbrook. We'll have one of each, and we'll call this the the party name, the Chuckle Fox. No, no, no. You guys didn't pick this one. This was all me. Uh... The blue team? <laughs> the green monk? Ah, yes! <laughs> Olmec, no. The blue barracudas? The green monkeys? <laughs> Charlotte K and the gang? You seem a little biased, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the three chuckle fucks. Can I write all that? The three... Ch no. The party name will be the Green Monkeys. Liberal Crime Squad. Oh, fuck it. The Chuckle Fox. Sounds like a goddamn sitcom. The Chuckle Fox. Choose your difficulty. Finally, you'll need to set a difficulty set. This affects the strength of monsters in the game. If this is your first time playing, leave normal and unlock selected and click start. Okay. Bing! Game by Mark Pay. Holy shit. Oh, good job, Gava Kiss. Welcome to actually being able to view things now. Soundtrack by Josh Welchel. Proudly presenting... Your mom in her last vacation. Wait, what? <laughs> Trust in wisdom. Live in peace. They're proudly presenting... Oh, okay. I thought it was like a shield or some shit. Like they were giving me a shield. Thanks for playing, guys. Chapter 1. Lights in the forest. In United Lereftian, we have Sakita and Yegara and Terese over there in the distance. Oh shit! Prosperity. I have been walking all night, and I'm still a long way from town. I was in no hurry to arrive, but I'm beginning to wonder if I should be here. Never arriving at all. Also, I'm gonna have to call you something else because your name is just too much of an asshole name. I'm gonna call you Mary. <laughs> <laughs> With every passing minute, the stagecoach appears to have been the safer option. Who knows what dangers lurk in these dark woods, waiting to prey on lonely travelers like myself. There's something lying on the road ahead. It's hard to see in this light, but it looks like a person. A drunken vagrant, perhaps? Or a bandit? Hello? Who's there? Can you hear me? Don't try anything foolish now. I'm just a humble priest. Please. Help me. How do I know his name? Is he, like, fucking wearing a name tag? Do I already know this guy? How can I tell people's names just by looking at them? These guys don't need to learn how to roleplay, okay? Oh, dear merciful lord. The wounds are deep and there's so much blood. I cannot do anything here. You are in his hands now. I can only pray that your passing is swift and pain. Painless. Who did this to you? They they found us. Three of them. We ran, but... Oh, God, the children! I tried to hold them off, but they were too fast. Please, I beg you. 
You have to. Have to. Please, sir, you must try and stay calm. What children? Uh, save the furniture. He's gone. And so he walks the final steps upon the path we must all tread when our time is through. The lost child returns at his end to the loving embrace of the Lord. Let none mourn him, for he dwells now upon light internal. Thank you, Mary. You're keeping it. You're keeping it real for us. Appreciate it. May the Lord. Oh God damn it! <laughs> Maybe my first character should not have been the priest. <laughs> May the Lord pardon you whatever sins or faults you have committed in this life. May He take you gently by the hand and lead you from this place to your salvation. That is all I can do for now. It looks like my fears were justified. The shadows of these woods hide murderous intent, and I am out here alone with nothing but my staff to protect me. I should be gone from here, lest the perpetrators of this wicked crime return. By God, I have no intention of sharing this fellow's fate. I can see lamplights in the distance. A village, perhaps? I can find shelter then, return in the safety of daylight to bury this unfortunate soul. Alright, so we've got a priest here, but he's not so dedicated as to risk his life to bury this man. Alright. So I should make shelter. The walking village. This is village walk. Are you fucking kidding me? We got a problem here, guys. <laughs> and, and how many others were with him? That doesn't sound like a very guardswoman voice. And how many others were with him? Just the two children. They fled east along the road and the masked men pursued them. Such an awful spectacle. They've only been traveling with us for a few weeks, but they seem such kind and gentle folk. He was their fa- oh my god damn it. He was their father? <laughs> I don't think so. A guardian, perhaps? They didn't speak much about themselves. In fact, they didn't speak much at all. It all happened so fast, and there was nothing we could do to protect them. The men have broken open the weapons chest and gone out into the woods with a search party, but I fear they will find only the worst. We are a peaceful, simple community, ill-equipped to defend ourselves. You know, I have heard that story so many fucking times. There are so many peaceful communities out there who are absolutely incapable of defending themselves, no matter all the monsters and other shit that live in these fantasy worlds. You would think that they would be better prepared to handle some shit, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. You live in a particularly malevolent area by the looks of it. Maybe, maybe you do a good job with that. I sound like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Hello. I think I may have found your man. His body lies some 200 feet back down the road. Alone, though, I saw no sign. If he's 200 feet back down the road, they couldn't fucking see him? Seriously? Come on. Come on, Mary. Come on. Then there's still hope. We three should get out there immediately and join the search. We three? You must understand, dear lady. I am but a humble priest, wary from a day on his feet. The woods are dark, dangerous, and it appears full of assassins. It would be prudent to remain here under dawn and begin our search and but Oh yeah, I'm so glad I picked Mary. He is most certainly an asshole. Very, very glad with that. Maybe Mayor Thompson should invest in building a freaking wall. They have a vision of the screen length. The Lord watches over us all. If it is his will that the children are to survive the night, then they shall. We can offer them our prayers from the safety of the village lights. You can't seriously be suggesting that we leave them out there. I've no faith in God to do right by those children, Father. Prayer is the last hope of the helpless, and we are... F oh, shit! Mary, you just got called out, motherfucker! Charlotte's giving you the evil eye right now. She's giving you two. Please join us. We need all the help we can get. We can't delay any longer. There are three assassins, two children. We have already wasted precious time. I will search the woods south of the road. You two take the north. I'm frightened, Mommy. Are Isabel and Eli going to die? No, of course not, sweetie. These brave heroes are going to go out into the forest and save them. Aren't you? 
Yes, of course, my good woman. Other prayers in our absence, and we shall undoubtedly be successful. Thank you. Please be careful out there. There is another stranger searching north of the road, an old guardsman who is staying the night at the village inn. You may be able to help each other. Oh, cool. It appears I'm going to get my party with me immediately. That's good. That's good. That's good. So much dialogue. It's the intro for an RPG. I'm not surprised. Please, could we stop for a moment? I'm not as young as I used to be, and I can't keep up this pace. I was also tra la 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 down the road to rest at the village for the day. That might be a good idea. We need to get our bearings. This forest is creepy, and I'm glad I'm not getting lost out here alone. For a moment back there, I actually thought you were going to refuse to help. I was. What the Lord wishes to pass shall pass. I am neither inclined, nor particularly able to assist. At this rate, we are going to get- Oh my god, Mary! Again, so glad I picked you as the primary character. You are awesome! <laughs> Perhaps the Lord will kindly upon my bravery tonight. These last few weeks I feel as though I have not been on the best of terms with him. I wonder why, Mary. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe the two of you need some- <laughs> Maybe the two of you need some time apart, or perhaps you just need to find a way to put some excitement back in your relationship. I hear roleplay can help. <laughs> I am immediately and completely and totally glad I picked Mary as character one and Charlotte as character two. I will never regret this. <laughs> Your irreverent tone is not appreciated, young lady. This is a very serious matter that I have on my mind. You're far too young to understand. Oh shit. Mary's about to choke a bitch. <laughs> is the audio kind of choppy? Is there an audio problem? That would be unfortuitous if there was. I would have to stop playing. There is? Why didn't you people tell me this shit? Like, I go to start playing a game and it's like, Are we getting this problem? No. No, there's no problem. Don't tell him. It gets choppy only when they moved it from scene screen to screen, so that's pretty much going to be all the time. I'm pretty unamused now. See, this is the kind of thing that I usually just I would usually stop recording for if there was like an actual problem whenever I would record on my own. Matters to me. <sighs> Shut up, game. I mute you. 
said, I muted you. Shut up. No more music. Quiet time. Grimmie needs to think. Actually, Grimm is going to be right back. <laughs> 